Stone Age Field Barbell Club, and this is my beautiful assistant, Dale Tucker. How's it going, everyone? We're going to be showing you how to perform a snatch in an effective and technical way. So the first thing we do when we approach the snatch is we want to grab the barbell. Dale is going to approach the bar so it's underneath the end of his shoe or right over the ball of his foot. So he's got the bar under his ball of his foot right now. Next thing he's going to do is reach down and grab the bar. Now when we check the grip on our snatch, what we want to do is we'll have Dale stand up with it. And he's going to make sure the bar is just above his pelvic bone and just below his hip bones with his hands looking straight. So he's in a good position right here. There's a couple other things he can bend over and his, his arms stay straight. We know he has a good position for his hands. So he's going to bring the bar back down. He's got his good grip established for the snatch. He's going to get set. So he's going to bring his hip down to a position to where he's comfortable. There's no cookie cutter way to set up your hips. It can be up high for some lifters when they're just learning and it can be really low for lifters who have an active start. For those who are just learning this lift, I would recommend keeping them high so it creates less mechanical disadvantage in the movement. So what he's going to do to get it started, he's going to make sure the weight is in his entire foot. We don't want the weight on our toes and we definitely don't want it back on our heels. So he's going to put the weight in the whole foot. As he pulls, he's going to keep tension on his back, so he's going to squeeze the shoulder blades together and he's going to pick his chest up. So he's tall as he sits here. The next thing he's going to do as he picks it up is he's going to push his knees back. So at this point, he pauses, his chest is up, and his knees are vertical right here with his shifts. So they're straight up and down, and he's in a good position. If he doesn't do this and he loses his back, he's going to start throwing the bar forward and missing the bar in all kinds of crazy directions. So he's going to bring the bar up to his mid-thigh now. As he pulls, he continues to keep his knee back to this position. And as soon as he gets to here, he's going to start extending himself upward. He's not going to drive his hips out. He's not going to try to hump the bar. He's just going to go straight up in the air, and then he's going to pull up and then pull himself under the bar as he catches. So his next step is to initiate the jump phase, which is right into the hips. Now you can see he's starting to stand tall. He's using his quads to drive up. His next position to do is just to come up as he jumps, and then he drives up. At that point, he's actively pulling himself underneath the bar. Now when he gets the bar overhead at this point, <clears throat> it, he is continuing to hold the hook grip, which is fine. You can hold it while you're overhead or you can let it go, it really doesn't matter. But when he's here, he's pushing up really hard on the bar and he's pretending like he's spreading the bar here. So because he's spreading the bar so hard, he keeps a tight active shoulder position and a tight upper back musculature. So I should be able to stand here and wiggle the bar and he won't fall over or die. So when he stands up, he keeps his chest up, looks straight ahead, and then that's a completion of the snatch. Now what he'll do is he'll bring it down and he'll do one snatch in an active motion. Initiate the pull. And now as he pulls, you'll notice he keeps his weight on his whole foot. He doesn't shift super far back on his heels and he doesn't get on his toes. He's gonna go back, pull. As he comes up, he stands up and brings it down. So one other thing to watch when he does this pull is as he's pulling, he doesn't come up on his toes like this and he doesn't rock super far back, leaning back. So what we want to do is be on the whole foot and we want to come straight up and stay on our whole foot as long as possible until the final point where we reach extension. So he's going to do that again and now pay attention to his feet. Where he's at. Pulls, whole foot on the floor, jump and catch. And that's the snatch. So key component of this movement, when you start, weight stays on the whole foot. When you initiate the pull, you drive your knees back while keeping your chest up because we need the back angle to stay the same. And then once you clear the knees, you keep your knees back just long enough until you start extending and jumping, keeping your weight on the entire foot, keeping the whole foot on the floor. At the final moment of extension, you pull up, pull yourself under the bar, and spread the bar. And then you've completed the snatch. Thanks for watching.